Welcome back to our first official episode on the F and CCD YouTube channel. Uh, I wanted our first video to be uh, uh, kind of a uh, review and comparison of the uh, various reference books out there uh, for Nikon. Uh, some of these are maybe a little bit more promotional material than reference, but uh, I think they're proven to be very um, uh, valuable uh, references for uh, nowadays. Um, so the first one I'm going to talk about is uh, this lovely little uh, booklet um, that uh, kind of covers the different uh, lenses um, that were current back in the uh, probably the mid 1970s it appears uh, all of these lenses are uh, pre-AI so I would estimate this uh, booklet came out in the uh, the mid 1970s if I remember correctly this booklet was included in the uh, Nikon F2 um, kit or uh, uh, body um, uh, purchase so when, when somebody bought the Nikon F2, this book was included in it. That's my understanding. Please don't quote me on that. Um, the next one that uh, is very fascinating is this book, Eyes of Nikon, uh, a little bit more substantial than this one. Um, came out in 85. And it's another great reference on... Uh, Nikon lenses. The first part of it actually is kind of a, almost like a, a guide for beginners and kind of helps you um, learn the basics of photography and uh, introduces you to some of the lenses. Um, and then it, it basically is just a guide of all the various lenses um, divided up by like telephoto, um, normal primes, etc. And each, uh, basically each page has a sample photo from the lens and um, uh, the specs of the lens and, and just kind of all about that lens. And so this covers uh, pretty much all the uh, AI lenses and some autofocus uh, lenses as well, I believe. Actually, no. No, actually, I'm sorry. I don't believe there are any autofocus lenses in this. This is just before autofocus came out. I believe there might have been a few. I think there m might have been a, a couple autofocus lenses featured in this. This is kind of the same idea, eyes of Nikon, um, a little bit more uh, modern uh, version with um, newer lenses. This book came out in 2014, um, and uh, again, beautifully done. Um, it's not quite organized the same way as the earlier version, but it, it generally goes through and um, showcases Nikon's uh, current uh, F lenses at the time, um, and uh, gives you a little sample picture and uh, helps you just kind of see what what the various lenses are and what they can do. Um, again, very nice little uh, reference to have. Next book I want to talk about is The Complete Nikon System by Peter Brasco. Brax Braxco. Um, this is a cool book. Uh, it's, it's pretty old. Let's see when it was written. Um, I, well, I can tell you, it, it covers the uh, the very first uh, Nikon DSLRs. And that's about where it ends. Um, so pretty much everything up until then. This book um, is just uh, if you if you're really into Nikon, this book is just a, a critical resource um, for you to have. It it basically lists every uh, every model of body and lens on all the different versions and kind of talks about the different uh, the differences between the different versions um, so this is a real uh, real good reference to have um, to to learn about the different uh, uh, products of Nikon um, 
bodies, lenses, accessories. Uh, it's got it all and pretty much every single version they ever had including prototypes. Uh, this is an amazing book. Um, and again, it, it gives little short blurbs that the very, very minimum information that you need to know about that, uh, that particular item. So highly recommend this book. Fantastic. Uh, again, if you are a collector or somebody very interested in uh, what Nikon has produced, you absolutely must have this book. Again, the complete Nikon system by Peter Braxco. I'm probably butchering that name and I'm sorry. The next book I want to talk about is the new Nikon Compendium. I think this is the latest one that they had and as you can see on the front cover it features a Nikon D2H which is as new as this book goes. So it's almost the same vintage as this book except for I think it goes a little bit newer with the D2H. Um, this book is also an absolute must-have for anyone who considers themselves a Nikon fan. Um, this book, uh, much like this book, covers the different products over the years, um, including their uh, their rangefinders. Um, but it goes into more detail. It's more in a story format and really, um, really just tells the story of the different products. It doesn't really go necessarily into every version of every product, but pretty close. And it does it in a very engaging story format. So um, let's see here. So this is the, uh, oh, let's see here, the digital SLR. So here we go. It starts with the, uh, with the D1. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, pages on the D1 and then it goes in the D1X and the D1H. So it has several pages of those and then D100 and um, it uh, uh, really gives you the story and it has a few colored pictures in here as well. Most of it's black and white but uh, this is just a great book to have as it, as it uh, really gives you the story of, of Nikon and their products. So again, highly recommended. The last book I'm going to cover is this one, Nikon A Celebration by Brian Long. Um, and uh, this is a, a, another good book. This is more of a coffee table book, honestly. This, it's, it's, a, it's a decent reference book, um, but it's, it's more of a coffee table book. And uh, it provides you beautiful color photographs. Um, kind of gives you some story, some high level stories. It doesn't really cover all the makes and models. Um, it has a lot of like old brochures and stuff, which is pretty cool, point and shoots. I mean, it, it, it really has stuff that the other books don't have, which is really neat. Um, it really does fill in the blanks for, uh, um, for Nikon's uh, products and, and Nikon's story. So, um, I wouldn't really consider this a critical book to have, but it is a very good book to have. It's very beautiful, uh, beautifully printed. Um, again, more of a coffee table uh, book for your reading pleasure. So, um, out, of, out of all of these books, let's just kind of put away the ones that aren't, uh, aren't the ones that are must have. Again, great book, but not a must-have. These two. These two books. If you consider yourself a Nikon fan, these are the books. These are the books that you need to get. They're pretty pricey. Um, I want to say they're on the order of uh, $50 a piece. I, I could be a little bit off on that. But um, great books. I highly recommend them. Um, I don't really know of any better books that really cover everything plus uh, the modern um, up-to-date Nikons, but, uh, but get these books. These are the two books. The, Ni the new Nikon Compendium um, by Simon Stafford and the complete Nikon system by Peter Brasco. 
Anyway, uh, that is my opinion. I hope this has been educational for you. If you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button and consider being a subscriber of my channel. Uh, I know these, uh, these videos are a little bit scrappy to begin with, but uh, hopefully if this channel is successful, um, this, uh, you know, the, the videos on, on Nikon, older Nikon, uh, uh, digital bodies and, and uh, old F mount lenses, uh, if this is something you like, you know, hopefully I can uh, be able to afford to bring you um, better, higher quality content in the future. Um, again, thank you for watching, and I will catch you next time.